the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello, Gamer Nom is back. So finally, guys, Roblox is also back. And what a way to celebrate it by helping this noob level one with the Buddha Fruit reach second C. So we're gonna help this level up from level one to 700, finish the quest until he reaches second C. So are you ready, guys? Let's go. So first off, we will be having two skills, the transformation and the impact. So we're gonna start by defeating bandits, the first quest. So guys, as you can see, the combo here is to use your fruit and your combat, okay? So you will be untouchable when you use that properly. So as you can see, I'm defeating him one by one. I'm just showing you that there is almost no damage to me. But to make this faster, lure five, kick, kick, kick. And before you even finish or defeat your enemy, you can use your impact to level up the mastery of your fruit, okay? Okay, so there you go. So the goal here is to reach level 10. Again, you can damage them using your combat and you can finish them, defeat your enemy using your impact to level up the mastery of your blocks fruit, okay? The Buddha fruit. So next up, at level 10, you can start defeating the monkeys at the next island, the jungle. So here you go. Just lure three and punch, punch, punch and use your impact. But I suggest here, guys, Instead of luring them, just defeat one at a time if they're so far apart. So it really depends to you on what is your strategy as long as you level up. Okay? Okay, so level up here in this early part is really, really easy. The goal here is to reach level 15. Again, level 15. If you do two sets of quests in the monkey, you will reach level 17. And that's enough to start the gorilla quest. So for the gorilla quest, you need to defeat 8 and you can locate them on the connecting island. So here you go. Guys, you can defeat 1 at a time. You cannot be defeated by this because you have the Buddha fruit. Or you can lure 4 at a time to make things faster. Here I suggest you lure 4 at the same time. There you go. And punch, punch, punch. Use the impact to finish it to level up again your Buddha fruit. There you go and everything will be easy. After just one quest, level 20, you can now start defeating your first mini boss, the Gorilla King. Guys, again, it's easy. As long as you maintain your distance, your enemy will not use its skill, okay? There you go. So again, easy. You're gonna level up in this island until you reach level 30. So go back to the gorillas, wait for the Gorilla King to spawn until you reach level 30, okay? Again, level 30. So after that, you can now proceed to the next island, which is there you go, the pirate village. So we're gonna start here by defeating pirates. You can defeat four at a time, lure them one, two, three, and four, and punch them to death. <laughs> Use your impact. There you go. Do this twice to finish one quest. Okay, so our goal here is to reach level 40. Okay, again, level 40. That's kinda easy. You don't need to worry. Okay, there you go. Next up, guys, at level 40, we're gonna start defeating the Brutes, okay? 10 Brutes. If you notice, this is the first time that I will suggest that you finish this because for the Buddha Fruit, it's kinda easy. Just lure 4. The problem here is just your energy, okay? So conserve using your Q, your dash. Okay, so there you go, guys. You need to defeat 10, so finish it twice. Two sets to finish one quest. The goal in this island is to reach level 60. When you reach level 55, guys, you can start defeating the mini boss in this island, Buggy the Clown. I'm gonna show it to you. There you go, Buggy or Bobby, sorry, Bobby. Here you go, guys. How do you defeat him? Just keep on punching him. See that? Just maintain your distance. Sometimes you might get hit by its skill, but your HP is too high for that. Okay, so there you go. Goal here is to reach again level 60. Next stop, we're heading to the desert island. Here it is. There is no mini boss here, but we're gonna start with the desert bandits. You need to defeat eight, lure four, then punch them again until you defeat them, guys. It's really easy. There you go. Two sets for one quest. Okay. And the goal here is to reach level 75. Okay. 75. And after that, you can proceed to the desert officers. You just need to defeat six. You can lure four at a time. There you go. Four, punch, punch, punch. It really is easy guys, leveling up with the Buddha fruit. Now I agree 
the easiest fruit to level up is I think this one, the Buddha fruit. Okay, there you go. So the goal here is level 90, guys. Level 90. Stat check 105 melee, 84 defense, 81 block fruit. So now we are heading to the next island at level 90, the frozen village. Before we start grinding, don't forget to head to this cave and talk to this dude, the ability teacher, by the sky jump for more jumps. Buy the enhancement for the hockey, busu hockey, and the flash step, the soru. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna start with the snow bandits. Again, always turn on your enhancement, your busuaki. See that? It's like I have gloves now. So the more you use it with combat or with sword, the more it increases. So how do you know that it will increase? Your body will be covered by it. It will increase your defense and your offense. For the bandits, I almost forgot. You can lure five at a time. You need to defeat seven, okay? But when you reach level 105, you can start defeating the Yeti. Guys, Yeti is so easy. Just keep on punching, punching, punching. Again, maintain your distance so that it won't use any skills. There you go. Guys, nice. the goal here is to reach level 130, okay? Level 130. So, just be patient with the snow bandits. If you have a chance to defeat the Yeti, go for the Yeti. There you go. Again, at 130, we can now proceed to the next island, the Marine Fortress. Guys, did you notice we started here at 130 because I love defeating the Vice Admiral and I hate the Petty Officers, okay? So here you go, how do you defeat him? Easy, just keep on punching and dodge to the side, moving sideways, there you go. So after defeating him, we're gonna defeat the petty officers. That's because they're so far apart. After defeating two, you need to like dodge to go to the other side of this island or you just need for it to spawn. Guys, I hate waiting. I, I think it, I'm waste, just wasting time, you know, when grinding. So I want everything to be faster. Anyway guys, go back to the Vice Admiral when it spawns. The goal here is to reach level 150. And after that, you can now go to the Skylands. Uh, Sky Islands. Here. There you go. Yes, it's Skylands. Okay. <laughs> now we're gonna start here with the Sky Bandits. So they are located here in this floating castle. So you need to lure four. Defeat them. Easy guys, it's easy. Grinding is easy. There you go. Every time you finish that, you just reset, okay? Goal here is to reach level 175, okay? When you finish a quest, reset. Because again, I, you don't want to be jumping on the clouds. While leveling up here, you will be unlocking one of your skills at Mastery 100, the Buddha Leap. I'm gonna show it to you. Here you go, the Buddha Leap at 100 Mastery. Now, leveling up, our Buddha Fruit will be faster. Because we won't be relying on just the impact. We can also now use the Buddha Leap there you go. Again, 175. And after that, next set of mobs, the Dark Masters. So where can you locate them? Just here, waterfalls. Do free, just free fall. There you go. This area. You need to defeat eight. Lure four. Punch them until you defeat them. There you go. Okay, use your skills. Impact or Buddha Lip if it's not enough. There you go. Defeat two sets to level up or to finish one quest. Gamer no mods are goal here. Reach 225. Okay, 225. Gamer no, you can defeat the warden now. Guys, the prison is so far away. I won't be doing that. Stat check 259 melee, 158 defense, and 258 blocks fruit. Okay, so there you go. Next island is the Coliseum. Here we're gonna defeat Toga Warriors and Gladiators. Guys, I'm gonna show you how strong Buddha Fruit is with the combo of the combat. Okay, there you go. So, first Toga Warriors, you need to defeat seven, right? So, there are five here. You defeat the first three Toga Warriors and then lure the remaining two. After that, go back to the previous three because I know that they've already spawned. So, after that, that's one, that's one quest. Next up, guys, when you reach level 275, we're gonna start defeating this. The Gladiators. They're easy to defeat. Just lure four. Punch them until you defeat them. There you go. You're gonna need to do this twice. Two sets to finish one quest. But you're gonna start here at 275, okay? Just showing it to you. The goal in this island is to reach level 300. But guys, again, I really love here the gladiators, so I decided to level up until I reach 315. 
And after that, we're gonna go to the next island, the Magma Village. But, but, <laughs> there's so many bots. We're gonna visit here, the prison. We're just gonna defeat all the bosses here for the sake of showing it to you. So we have the warden at 200. We didn't defeat it. I sorry, I said 225 a while ago. The chief warden, 225. But I'm more interested with the swan here. Okay, at 250. If you want, you can visit it here. 250. Defeat three. Okay, get all the quests. But I think it will be slower because it is really far, and we don't have like the enforcer or the Buddha fruit is kind of slow, really. So there you go. I am defeating them all at the same time, just using combo of Buddha Fruit and the combat. So I'm gonna damage them with the punch and I'm gonna end them with the skill of the Buddha Fruit. Again to level up it fast. There you go. So it's done guys. Let's focus on leveling up, grinding. Next up, Magma Village. Again, same with the Toga Wars in the Gladiators. We're gonna start with the military soldiers. First two here, on the other side there are three, so you're gonna lure five at a time, okay? Five at a time. Why? You're gonna defeat nine to finish one quest. So defeat five, wait for them to spawn, and defeat five again, okay? Okay, so let's defeat this, finish the quest, and then I'm gonna show you the military spies. To be honest, if possible, I wanted to skip the military soldiers. But here you go, military spies. Just need to lure four because there are only four here. They're easy to defeat, guys. Lure four, defeat them, wait for it to spawn, lure four for one quest, okay? So the goal in this island is to reach level 375. And when you reach level 350, you can start defeating the Magma Admiral. Again, 350. Okay, so here you go. How do you defeat him? Very easy. Just dodge to the side while punching. Wait for it to use its skill. You can use your skill, but I suggest just punching him. And when he's about to get defeated, we're gonna use one of our skills. Our final skill, to be honest. We've unlocked it during leveling up with the military spies. So we have the Buddha Explosion at 200 mastery. Okay, there you go, guys. The Magma Admiral was sent flying. <laughs> okay, so let's end this so that we can proceed to our next island. So for our next island, we have the underwater, what do you call this? Underwater cave, yes. First save here because there is no save point inside. Correct me if I'm wrong, okay? Here, underwater city, we're gonna start here with the Fishman Warrior. Okay. Guys, we're not gonna farm in the Fishman Commandos. Why? I hate it there. They're so far apart, you need to defeat nine again, and you're using a Buddha fruit. Traveling or going to places is kinda slow. Again, I hate that. So here you go, guys. Fishman Warriors, one, two, three, four. You need to defeat eight, right? There are seven here. So defeat four. There you go. Boom. After that, you can wait for them to spawn or defeat the three here. The three remaining Fishman Warriors. There you go. Very easy to defeat. Don't worry again. What's our goal here, gamer? No, reach 450. So yes, we're gonna train here until we reach 450 with the Fishman Warriors. But don't forget, we can start attacking or defeating the Fish Lord when we reach level 425. Okay? Again, stay here until we reach 450 again. But at 455, we can start defeating the Fishman Lord. The Fish Lord, sorry. The Fishman Lord. So is it hard to defeat? No. Again, use our technique. The circular uh, punching, what they call this. Just use it, the combat, okay? Just keep on punching, dodge to the side until you defeat it. And when you reach level 450, we will go back to the Skylands and we will go a step higher, okay? So from here, there you go, you're gonna jump here and we're gonna start grinding my favorite mobs, the gods, guards. Why? Guys, you need to defeat seven, right? There are six here, one set, six. So defeat five first, and after that, defeat the sixth one. Why? Because again, I hate waiting, I hate waiting. So after defeating this, the previous five mobs, they've already spawned. See that? After defeating one, get another quest, and defeat the, pre the remaining mobs, okay? Guys, don't be shocked. The goal here is to reach level 535. Why? Check this out. You get 3.8 million experience, right? At 536, you just need 3.7 million. 
so you will still level up once if you want to use a boost or two times experience you will level up twice again the enemies are so near to each other that this benefits buddha fruit again buddha fruit is so slow but you cannot be damaged that much so we're gonna level up here until we reach level 537 and next up we're gonna defeat the whisper why i just want to defeat it so again punch side punch side wait for it to use the cannon after using its cannon you can use your skill okay there you go so after that dodge dodge okay cannon opportunity to use a skill there you go okay so after defeating this Wait, let's see if it is. We're gonna go to the next area of the upper yard. And we're gonna level up here with the Royal Squad. Yes, Royal Squad. We're gonna skip the Royal Guards. I'm gonna skip the Royal Guards. I don't know why. I hate those Royal Guards. But if you wanna level up here, then go. Go for it. But for me, I'm gonna level up here in the Royal Squads. And when you reach level 575, you can start defeating NL, the Thunder God, if you want. But yes, if you have a chance to defeat it, every time it spawns, just defeat the Thunder God, okay? Okay, so when you reach level 625, here we go, we're fighting the Thunder God. Again, at 625, we can now go to the final island where we will reach level 700 in order to go to the second sea. For the stats, here it is. Okay, so for our next island, the Fountain City. Okay, here we go. So there are three mobs here. Galley Pirates, Galley Captains, and Cyborg. So we're just gonna focus on the Galley Pirates and Cyborg. So for the Galley Pirates, just lure four. There you go. Defeat them. Wait for them to spawn again. Four. To finish one quest. Okay. When you reach level 675, you can start defeating Cyborg. So he's easy to defeat. Same goes with the other mobs. Just dash to the side. Use your normal attack. Dash to the side until you defeat him. Okay? No need to worry. Now, go back to the Galley Pirates until you reach level 700. Finally, guys. When you reach level 700, this will appear. Congratulations for reaching level 700. Blah, blah, blah. So, they will ask you to go to the prison. Okay, again, guys, prison. So, head to the prison. He will give you a key. Now, you need to go to the Snow Village. Okay, Snow Village. Oh, sorry, Frozen Village. Keep on uh, interchanging those names. So you will use the key to open this door and you will fight the Ice Admiral. So he's easy to defeat, don't worry. Again, use our technique. And when you fight him, just click never mind. <laughs> now you just need to go back to the prison. Talk to the detective. Now he will ask you to go to the second sea. How do you go there? Just go to the middle town. That is the town in between the marine island and the pirate island they're starting islands there you go so talk to this one the experienced captain and that's it he will teleport you to the second sea and this concludes our video so guys do you like this video comment in the comment section what do you want next do you want level 700 venom fruit reaches second sea i mean third sea or you want me to level up the control fruit okay so comment it on the comment section. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I appreciate you all. This is GamerNom, and GamerNom out.